try to pull a log off of the dam. During high water, they come down the creek and get stuck on the dam and in the mill pond. It's kind of dangerous when the water's high. We have to wait for the water to get low. Then we open the gates on the mill, divert most of the water to the other side, and then we drive the tractor in and try to pull the log off the dam. The reason we're taking the logs off the dam is not because they're not hurting, which they're not. But the idea is if you get one log stuck on there, there'll be another one gets stuck behind it, and then another one, and the first thing you know, you got a big log jam that's really a bear to get on. But what we try to do is, during low water, get in there and pull them off. Okay, here we are at the spot where the tree is stuck on the dam. You can see the full length of the tree there. And we are right up against the dam here, which creates the waterfall by the mill. And there's Nate over there. All of this cement that you're seeing right here is practically brand new. This section was done in 2007, right through here, it was all 2007, and then from there on, that was all done in 2009. And the reason that's all in the brand new cement is because the, the dam was in such bad shape. It had cracked and pieces fallen out of it. So now we have it back to the full nine feet all the way across the way it should be. Okay, now you might be wondering who this is. This is Karen Rowe, and around here, she's known as the dam sweeper. She loves to clean off the dam. And right now, she's excited because as soon as we get this log jam off of here, she'll be able to walk all the way across and clean off smaller stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. She is the wife of the miller. Mr. and Mrs. Rowe. And she loves her job. People are always asking when are they going to clear those logs off the dam and actually we are they. Nobody else cares. The only time the state or the county would come out to help is if the log jam was endangering one of the bridges. And uh, sometimes they've actually done that. But normally it's up to us to get the, uh, the logs off the dam because we actually own the dam. The mill comes with grandfathered water rights. We have 180 years grandfathered water rights and we have the right to keep, keep the water flowing for the water power. So here Dustin and I are working hard He's running the camera, and I'm uh, ciphering on how to do this. And uh, so here we are just working ourselves to the bone, trying to get this job done. Whew. We're going to go to plan B. Plan A didn't work out very good. Turns out, since our tail race, which is where the water comes out of the mill, is plugged with trees. And because of that, all the water is being forced to the north side, so the water over here where we normally cross with the tractor is not going down. So we're going to keep the gates open, possibly it will go down, but in the meantime, we're going to use hand tools, like chainsaws. 
And we're going to try to cut this mess up and send it on down the creek where it belongs. Starting to get a collection underneath the dam or at the bottom of the dam of all of our casualties. And what's next? Well, we're going to cut up this big log into smaller pieces. Hopefully, we can get over the dam. Eventually, it should float over to the dam. We'll shut the gate and raise the water. Let's go! Ah! and push it on over. That's okay, explain to our viewers what this is you're holding here. That's or, a piece of tin we found from the roof of the mill here in the mill pond, and that's uh, one solid piece, uh, I don't know, 18, 20 inches wide. And this is actually wood here. There's tin on the back side of it, yeah, right? That's uh, the eaves. The moth of mill. That would be line. the roof. And that roof came once again from right up there. And it thought maybe this was gonna be its final resting. I think this is more spot. like twenty four inches here, Dan. Twenty four inches. At least. Officially pertinent. Real one, still got some hand cuts for our nail Careful now, Chris. It's like and we're gonna to go down to Mississippi, right? Yeah, be careful. There's a chunk of wood hanging off the side of it there. We're gonna bring it down so the scrappers can get it, take it off, and recycle it. Briston Mill, also known as the Green Mill, right? We'll be will be the Green Mill as soon as we get water power. We're pertin' air there. Okay, so all of this junk that was up here is now gone. And we have created a nice big pile under the waterfall. There's the big log that was on up on the dam. And there's this really big log, parts of it, root ball there, there, we're up there in the water. 